Okay, so back with some more Prisma Ea. So yeah, it seems like we should be picking up on this story pretty soon. Yeah, and then season three, yeah, it seems like a lot of stuff is going to be going on. But yeah, last couple of episodes, we learned a little bit about BL, you know, that uh, boys love. And yeah, we went to the amusement park. Yeah, we got to have, what was it, Bazette as like their personal, what was it, a lion? Yeah, the mascot was a lion. Yeah, we had Saber as, you know, the main <laughs> mascot there in the parade. Yeah, um, that was pretty much about it. I mean, they did have a little bit of the... Yeah, like the rest of construction that they was doing for the eighth card. So yeah, still waiting to see who that is. So yeah, and then now we have the uh, festival. Yeah, I saw the preview. We have the, uh, what was it, summer festival or whatever it is. Yeah, we're going to be seeing that today. So for now, I don't mind this, but nah, bro. Feeling like some uh, filler episode uh, in a minute. I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, I, I guess I don't mind because, I mean, we get to see at least more insight of other characters like the uh girl with glasses suzuka i didn't even know what her name would have been yeah if they didn't have that what third episode then mimi yeah she was sort of like the character to get no screen time apparently yeah like really no one knew she was even there it's like she was so silent and invisible it's like they're just forgetting who she even is but yeah, other than that, though, if you guys will enjoy this, make sure you like, subscribe, and yeah, let's just get this reaction started. some yes give me that luvia in the uh yukata is that how you say it you're not allowed to wear underwear no i don't know actually i never knew what they wore under that i mean i know that, yeah yukata or <laughs> you got, yeah it covers up about everything but Hey, what do you really wear under it? I know boys and girls can wear it. Well, yeah, obviously girls. M me, you, for one day. Just, just start with all the calculation and all that. I forget how smart she is. Just for one day. Just have some fun. Yeah, make it simple. I'm talking about 25%. How much yen it costs. Ripping people off. Yeah. Watch what you're saying. Everybody got to make their bread somehow. I mean, someone's going to be ripping off their um, consumers, right? Yeah, okay, here we go. Ba buzz it. She's got to be running the most scariest stand. 500 yen. Okay. Actually, let me see some more of those prizes. What they got? <laughs> to see if this is worth it or not. Okay. Oh yeah, can't she just projecting, analyzing it through magic? Or, uh... Okay. So she can really do that. Confirm if there can be a winner or not. Yeah, it's clearly a, a scam. But will you fall for it or not? 
just go along with it. Yeah? So Ren tricked her on purpose. I mean, obviously. Like, wear something under the Yukata. Like, yeah, you gotta wear something. And yeah, we already know Luvia is wearing absolutely nothing. Has a bug on her back. Wait, what? Was it a water balloon or something? Okay. Nah, these two are perfect. God, they're always like this can never make up, but they're, they're perfect. Yeah, she was the one talking about not wearing underwear, but it looks like, you know, she's just contradicting herself, like... Yeah, no, it seems like you're the one with nothing on. No, stop that right... Come on, stop! No! I knew where it was going! Talking about Ia having nothing under as well. She's transforming. Nah, bro. Alright, you guys saw some uh, fireworks here. Yeah, another uh, first experience for Miyu. Yeah, it seems like they got to do a lot this summer. To just fill up all those gaps. All those other experiences experiences she hasn't had yet. But I think it seems like that's about it. Yep, there we go. Oh no, <laughs> never mind. We still got more. Okay, now that is it for this episode here. Okay. So yeah, nothing too bad. Yeah, still getting to see like at Miyu, yeah we know like I mean it was sort of like a coincidence how she became a magical girl but yeah sort of a little different at the same time yeah but got uh was a Shido yeah helping out like usual yeah he yeah got it got that same personality right gotta just help someone out no matter who it is yeah just gotta do something some way somehow and for Tots, yeah, Totsko's own dad to be like, yeah, she's a huge help when she's not around. I'm like, nah, that, <laughs> what does she do? Like, I know she's energetic, but like, for her own father to say she's best when she's not around, that's the most help she can do? She must have just done something crazy in the past. Because, nah, I, I don't know about that. But yeah, I mean, really, that's pretty much about it yeah you got Ren Luvia with their same old shenanigans right always messing around with each other yeah really embarrassed Ren there yeah cause it's like I mean Luvia she feels embarrassed as well but that's like mentally right it's not like Shido actually knows that Luvia has nothing under but whatever Luvia did to Ren now is like you know, it's a complete opposite reaction, right? You know, Luvia is supposed to be reacting, you know, in a certain way. But now it's Ren, you know, actually physically happening to her, right? You know, the water dripping down. Yeah, it makes it seem like uh, just contradicting herself. Like, yeah, she's talking about other people when her, what looks like her herself is the one actually, yeah, with nothing on. But yeah, this probably might be the shortest little what, review that I have. Uh, so yeah, I'll just see you guys in the next episode. Oh, hold on. What are we getting into here? What then, the little kitty pool? Yeah, what, what, what Liz looking like up in there? Hold up. Actually, yeah, let me, let me look at some of that uh, Irisville too. <laughs> no, let me stop.
Yeah, pretty cramped, that small little pool. Okay, here we go. Yeah, let's enjoy the party. Sella over here taking down notes. Yeah, you know she gotta be the serious one, so like just in case she does a party, she knows what to do, what to what type of food to have. How to properly like set the tables and all. Yeah, it seems like this is probably what's gonna be it for the whole rest of the time. Oh yeah, they're gonna take those pictures alright, you know? Nah. Pictures gonna be inside of their mind. Is my meat not to your liking? He needs to rephrase that. <laughs> no. To slay a bison in one slash. Yeah, with the skills he has, probably be the most clean cut. Yeah, he got a. He wants him to eat like a man. That is too much. I mean, I probably tear that up too. Hey, it's looking good. Now they be—they always make food look good in anime, making me hungry. Like, uh, let me let me get on through the screen real quick. Grab some of that. <laughs> you are my little sister. That's that's what I was thinking. Looking at that, I'm like, they have gotten close to where they look like sisters. <laughs> Why they gotta be... They, they just gotta give the fan service to Kudo all the time. Wait, how do the cars relate to the war? To me, obviously, we know the servants. But yeah, how are the cars, like, different? Alright, yeah, let's go. Yeah, I know, yeah, I just skip like straight to the ending there with probably like no other reaction to something else. Yeah, I mean, it's not like there wasn't anything to react to, it's just, yeah, I just stayed quiet and was really paying attention to what was going on because, yeah, there was a lot going on and yeah, still what like confuses me because now they're adding holy grail elements or they already did it but yeah showing like irisville kirisugu and all that it has me thinking like was yeah i, I don't know because it's, it's weird because kirisugu should really be with shido right now he should have taken in shido but see everything's different and yeah, yeah, really, what is going on with Shido as well? Because he's not exactly a part of the family, you know? Um, I don't want to say he's, like, adopted, but, like, he's not exactly a part of the family at the same time, right? So, yeah, what's, like, really going on with that? Yeah, like, it's completely different, and Irisville should have been, like, you know, the vessel for the Grail, so, yeah, that, it's just weird to me, that's all. Yeah. Then, yeah, a little bit talking about, like, how Irisville, like, yeah, she's not lying to them. Like, yeah, she still may be hiding things, but she's not lying to them about, like, yeah, what's going on right now about these cards, how it relates to the war and all. And it's like, let me see here. Um, yeah, she just doesn't know about it. So, yeah, so like, was she still like the vessel for the grail and came? Yeah, that, that's weird to me. That's all. Yeah, like what really happened there? Like she came back into human form or was 
her memories erased as well. Like, yeah, what, what's really going on with that? Like, yeah, what's... Like, what they're talking about here. Um, let's see, what else? I know they got the plan going on. Yeah, Bazette, yeah, still someone not to look down on. Like, yeah, it's going to be difficult to get that card. Yeah, especially if we're racing to get it. Even though it seems like they're really allies right now, basically friends. But yeah, Bazette's still going to be racing and trying to get that card before them. Yeah, and then good thing for Miyu, she at least has some sort of family now, right? Because yeah, whatever, because what was it? Her father is gone and her brother is still alive. Yeah, her brother's still alive somewhere. If I remember that correctly from that uh, beach episode. So, I mean, she still does have family. But right now, I mean, this is the best that, I mean, she can have right now, you know. Because it really did look like she had nothing to go off of. So, yeah, right now, just the best thing she can have. Um... Yeah. So yeah, it seems like we're going to be getting this eighth card. Finally seeing who it is. Yeah, like I said, I mean, my little theory or whatever. I mean, it's got to be Gilgamesh because, I mean, we had Unlimited Blade Works. There were eight servants in that. So, I mean, it'll only be reasonable because in Unlimited Blade Works, you know, Gilgamesh was like that, you know, mystery, new, su new servant, extra one because... Yeah, he was able to stay alive right after Fate Zero. Yeah, it's a lot of fate going into this. But yeah, after Fate Zero, he was still alive. Um, so yeah, it's not like, you know, he ended up disappearing or anything. No, he was still there. And, you know, once the new Grail War happened... It's like, yeah, you have the original seven, but now you still have an extra eighth that's uh, stayed over from the other war. So if it's not Gilgamesh, then, yeah, whoever, new, completely new person we see, all right? Yeah, yeah, just surprise me, right? Yeah, if, if they just have some whole new servant, I don't even mind that. But, yeah, that's, that's it for this one. Yeah, I guess this little review is probably going to be a little short, too, but... Yeah, just those uh, few things that has me, like, just questioning. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm just confused right now. Like, you know, what was going on with... Really, what's going on with Irisville? Because if I know about what's going on with her, then I'll know, like, what happened with Kiritsugu, Shido, and all. Because, yeah, it would probably make sense. Like, okay, how is Shido with uh, Sela and Liz and all of them, Ia... You know, how is he with them right now? Because, yeah, they didn't even do too much of that. Uh, what else? Well, yeah, actually, yeah, what happened with Kirisugu as well? Because they don't show much of him apart from... What was it? When Kudo was born or whatever happened there. And um, what else? I think, yeah, there was like a little... Um, was it, a couple of seconds at the end of an episode, like an extra scene or whatever, when I saw him. Actually, yeah, when Irisville came, you know, about for the first time, I think, or first, second time, whatever it was. So you have that, but not too many other appearances of Kirisugu or anything like really giving any information. But yeah, that's it. Just really trying to figure out what happened in Irisville. You know, what's going on with, like, Shiro, Kirisugu, that, that situation. Because if everything did go according to the plan, like, exactly how it did Fate Zero, then, yeah, everything is the same, except the only thing that's different is just this whole new timeline, right? After the war finished. So you got that. But other than that, though, yeah, I'm, I'm going to end it off here. Hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you like, subscribe again. And y'all yeah, see you guys in the next one.